Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back to my channel. iPad OS 14 just got released and I wanted to show you some of the best note-taking features it has to offer. If you take notes on the iPad, your workflow will be a lot more productive and efficient with these changes, so let's get started. This time around, there are lots of new features for the Apple Pencil, including Scribble, which I will demo in this video. Right now, most note-taking features aside from Scribble are only available in the stock Notes app, but I'm really hoping note-taking developers will be able to implement these into their apps. So let's take a look. First is shape recognition. Although a simple feature, you're now able to draw arrows, stars, and hearts with ease just by drawing and holding. I haven't seen the heart or star myself in other note-taking apps, so this could be neat for those who do a lot of illustrations with their notes. Or if you just like to draw these for fun. New to iPad OS 14 is the ability of the iPad to recognize your handwriting and allow you to work with it like typed text. Instead of using a lasso tool to select your text, you can simply tap on it and you'll be able to select the notes of your choice. This feature is neat because it can actually tell your notes apart from your drawings, so your drawings won't be selected. You can copy the handwritten notes and paste it as typed text in something like Google Docs or Pages. So your handwriting now is pretty much as powerful as typed text. Now this next feature is probably one of the most useful. Say your instructor reminds you that you have an assignment due tomorrow at 1 o'clock and you write it down in your notes. The iPad will actually recognize that as an action and allow you to add it to your calendar as an event or reminder straight from the notes app so you can stay organized. Notice how when I'm adding the event, I'm actually writing the name of it instead of typing it. That's Scribble. You can write into any text field and your handwriting will turn into text. So you don't have to put down your Apple Pencil and therefore your distractions or interruptions are minimized. The same thing is possible for emails, phone numbers, and addresses. And I find the emails to be especially useful if you're a student. You can send an email right then and there and never have to put your pencil down. Using Scribble, you can write in the subject. If you make a mistake, you can simply just scratch over it and it'll be deleted. If you've forgotten a space in between words, you can draw a line in between the words to make one. These features just make working with an Apple Pencil so much more efficient because there is no need to put it down to do what you need to do. Likewise, if you're in the middle of doing work and you get a message, without putting your pencil down, you can simply just reply with your handwriting and go back to whatever you were doing. Something that I found useful was actually opening up the search window and writing in a math formula to get my answer quickly, since the search now produces real-time results in iPad OS 14. Fortunately, Scribble works in GoodNotes 5, so you can actually use your Apple Pencil to write in any text field, for instance, the search bar to find a keyword. You can also write in a GoodNotes text box. When making a new notebook, you can use Scribble to write out the notebook name, and you can also use Scribble to name your new folders. Seriously, honestly, what is even the point of having a touch keyboard anymore? Similarly, Scribble works in Notability, again, in any text field, so you can use it to name new dividers and subjects, and you can also use it for searching. With these new features, it's no doubt your digital workflow will be a lot more efficient because you have a lot more shortcuts with respect to calendars, emails, phone numbers, addresses, and you have fewer interruptions since you don't need to put down your pencil as often. I'm so excited for you guys to try out iPad OS 14. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Here are some more videos from my channel that I recommend.